Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So many of you guys had a question how we can get our UIN number for our drone. So in the past video, we have seen that how we can register our drone and get a DAN number. So in this video, with the help of DAN number, we will be registering our drone and getting a unique identification number. So without wasting much of the time, let's quickly get into the video guys. So guys, here we need to visit the digital sky website and I'll be mentioning the link in the description. You can directly visit this website. And here you can see that we have the last deadline to register our drone and get the conversion from DAN to UIN within 31st of March. So guys, I hope you, you guys have the DAN number. Uh, if you don't have, you can check out the other video which I have created to get the DAN number. So once you get the DAN number, you can click here and get the UIN number. So guys, when you click here, so you will be navigated to the bottom of the page where you will be able to see the two methods with which we can get our UIN. So we will be opting for a general method. So now we will be clicking on login and apply for UIN. So guys, once you click on login and apply for UIN, you need to enter the same email address and password that you had entered while creating the DAN and OAN number. If you have forgot the password, you can reset the password by clicking on forgot password and uh, you but make sure that you are using the same email address and password so guys once you log in uh, you will be able to see that profile has been created like previously when we created the dan number that time profile was created but my uin was pending because we did not apply for the uin so in this video we will be applying for the uin so guys now in the uin session you need to click on the plus sign that is present on the right corner and click on add a uas here you need to enter the manufacturer name that is DJ and click on the search button and here you will be able to find the DJ Mini 2 here I am using DJ Mini 2 so I will be selecting DJ Mini 2 you can select your drone model that is Mavic Mini Mini SC Air 2 any every drone is listed over here so here we found the DJ Mini 2 we clicked on DJ Mini 2 so after that you need to enter your DAN details so guys without DAN you cannot get a UIN number so you need to have the DAN number I am attaching the link of DAN uh, video how to get the DAN video in the description as well as in the i button you can check out how we can get a DAN number so guys once you enter the DAN number click on fetch DAN details so automatically it will fetch all the details of your drone like serial number RC controller serial number and everything but guys here you can see that drone UUID is empty it did not fetch the drone UUID so in such case you can uh, copy the same RPS serial number which is just beside left side uh, so you can copy the same thing from the left side to the right side and enter in the drone UUID so guys once you enter all the details of your drone then you need to scroll down and click on verify DAN account so after that you will get a OTP on the registered email ID you need to enter the OTP once you enter the OTP you need to click on verify and once the verification is done you will see the man manual serial number page there you need to click on submit agree for the terms and conditions disclaimer and continue So after that you can see that manual serial number page where the serial number has been successfully added. So guys now we have added our drone in the UIN section. So now we need to apply for the UIN ID. So here we need to click on view UIN. Uh, so here you will see that uh, we can see our uh, drone is enlisted in the UAS. Now just simply click on apply UIN. So here you need to upload the photographs of the US means you need to upload the pictures of your drone. So you, you would require a top view drone photo, side view, left side view, right side view, front photo as well as the serial number photo. So guys here this website accepts photos which are less than 250 KB. So I'm attaching the link where you can downscale your photos and create the photos less than 250 kb so guys there is no rule of taking any photos with a scale or with a measurement tape so here in this video i am using the same photos which i had used for dn in the dn registration you need to take a particular photos uh, with a tape or a, a scale so i am using the same photos 
for the this purpose also so guys as said this website does not accepts any photo which is more than 250 kb as well as this website does not accepts any photos which are named with any special character as well as if there is any space in between the naming so here you need to make sure that you are naming with a single uh, character or any word so guys serial number photo you can find it in the back door battery door uh you need to open it and you will be able to see the serial number over there you can take the photo and upload that in the third photo so guys now we are left with the side photos to be uploaded of the drone so i basically did not had it in a laptop so i am just converting those photos into the low resolution photos now let's upload those files as well so guys once you are done uploading all the five photos you need to click on upload so guys once the upload is complete you can click on continue and here it will ask you for the gst paid invoice number and the gst paid pdf so guys here comes the main issue most of you guys does not have the gst paid invoice number as well as gst paid document so here in the gst paid invoice number you need to enter as na and in the uploaded gst paid invoice document you can create a document where you can add a data as na inside that and you can upload the same document in the gst paid document as well so guys uh, this document i will be providing in the description as well so you guys can directly download from the description this na document where i have just written as a na in the pdf document and created it so you guys can upload the same thing in this uh, gst invoice document so guys once you are done with the updating the gst invoice number and the document you can click on preview here uh, when you click on preview you will be able to see the all the data of the uh, owner acknowledgement and uh, the dn that is the drone uh, so you will be able to see everything related to your drone about the serial number about the nano category and the photos that you have applied after verifying the details in the document you can click on continue so guys at the bottom of the document you can see that uh, we have to pay the 100 rupees so you need to click on continue and and you will be directed to the payment page so you need to click on make a payment so in this page you need to scroll down and click on continue so guys here uh, you can select on the success rate uh, based on the success rate there have multiple uh, bank accounts so uh, basically we need to select on hdfc bank so click on debit card anyways uh, it depends on you guys uh, how you are making the payment here i am selecting the debit card and my card is rupee so there are minimum charges to do this transaction like 5 to 6 rupees might be extra charge for your transaction so guys now enter the captcha code and once done click on pay so guys once you click on pay you will be directed to the page where you need to enter the details of your card so firstly you need to enter your card number card holder's name expiry date cvv once you enter all these details you can click on pay now so guys you will be directed to the page where you need to confirm the payment so once you confirm it you will be directed to the another page where you need to enter the otp so guys with this we are done with the uin payment and application so here once your payment is successful you can see that uin application submitted successfully and application id you will be able to see transaction id and the payment uh, amount now to view our uin we need to go to the dashboard and we can see that active uin is 1 issued uin is 1 and linked uas is 1 if you have multiple drones you can enlist uh, within a same uin you can enlist another drone so here you will be able to see your uin and i have got the uin just after the payment so within few seconds or minutes you will be able to see that uh, uh, your uin will be issued so guys this is how we get the uin number with the help of dn number so i request you guys to watch the dn video before watching this video and then you will understand the whole process of getting a uin so guys in the next video we will be checking out how we can transfer our uin to the other users when we sell our drone so that's it for this video guys i hope you have liked this video and found this video informative if you guys found this video informative do it a like button and subscribe to the channel we'll meet in the next video till then take care bye bye